It's okay. I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people! Lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. <laughs> Trying to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the pad. Well, that's a start. The fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. How are you holding up, honey? I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. Won't budge. Did you try the latch? The latch, right, of course. That should free it up. It still won't move. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, write it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Sweetheart, listen. I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. That's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it must have been the crash. It looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well, then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. I don't see how they could have made it, but still, we, we have to hope. This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open, but if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power of those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. Ow! I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Switch the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. Huh? 
Got it. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never going to be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Dad, what are we going to do? Try again. On three. Ready? One. Two, three! No, Jax, wait! No! I'm fine, Dad! Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. That's coming! Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it! Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. Run, Dr. Sorkin! Come on, they're right behind you! Dr. Harding, the door! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier anyway. <laughs> So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it, I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. Take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Better keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I should see if the girl's okay. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion.
Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. <laughs> the lady has a secret stash. But what the hell is it? Oscar, I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? You gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Dios mío, how am I not dead?
Leave me alone. Idiotas. Looks like I was only out for a little while. The embryo should be okay for now. Where's the cane? Yeta! No, no, no! Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask InGen? Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. I knew you were up to something, but this, this is pretty clever, I gotta admit. InGen's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. Those embryos are worth over a million. That's US dollars. I have a buyer. I just need you to take us there, and we'll both be rich. Oh, yeah, right. Like InGen isn't gonna shine a light on an independent contractor like me when they figure out the crown jewels are missing. No sale. How much does InGen pay you to risk your life? How long before they replace you after you lose a leg or break your back and can no longer jump out of helicopters for hey, them? Don't you worry about it. I get paid plenty to do what I do. You turn that over to InGen. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Okay, keep talking. Give it back right now, or else. Come on, think. Your chopper's gone, you're separated. Do you really want to spend all your time watching me? We could work together. I ain't scared of you. I know. But you make a point. Come on, Billy. Money's good, and you won't have to worry about me causing problems. Everybody gets a little something. OK, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos, and as soon as it's safe to break away, We'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. 
That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Well, as long as we're getting to know one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally, I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He is awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive! Oscar's fine, he's coming back, and come hell or high water, we are not leaving! Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time, hide!
care for a lysine supplement? No, thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! You're thinking in terms of human lifespans, Jerry. The biosphere is resilient enough to handle one generation of dinosaurs, even if there's a recovery period. A recovery period? We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then? A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Tell me this, did you reverse the lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the Pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only Pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I going to have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. You see them in the field every day. Have you ever even seen one of our dinosaurs try to swim? We keep them in cages, Laura. They don't get the chance. I know this, more quadrupeds can swim than can't. All right, I'll concede that it's possible there are sauropods that can swim. But I still believe that 120 miles of open water is an effective barrier. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. Look, let's just agree to disagree for now. But I'll have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay.
Misty Dinosaur. Stay still. Do these things ever stop eating? out there like a ballet dancer or something uh thanks damn you're lucky you ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket the embryos yeah yeah relax i uh i um you lost it you lost it it must have fallen out Here they come. Idiota! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it. Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. that you let fall out of your pocket. Sorry, I guess I was a little preoccupied with a giant, prehistoric people-eater breathing down my neck. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry!
darling. And what brings a nice girl like you to a place like this? Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. What's the holdup? It's nothing. It's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. What about that thing there? Maybe you have to prime it before turning it on, like an oil pump or something. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. Push to close. Close what? Well, that was my best guess. All right, I got it now. 
Close your eyes, you're about to lose your... Night vision. What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah, I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So here's what we're talking about. Ready to set sail. This show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We had to change that. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. going along with her. Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. Come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. You mean ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. 
I trust you, but I don't trust her. I don't know, Billy. InGen throws a lot of work our way. Not sure I want to burn that bridge. I understand, but we're talking about a retirement level payout here. Look, you don't have to decide now. Plenty of time before we call for another chopper. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shit. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. <laughs> yes. wasn't so lucky. What the? Amazing. I've never seen them afraid before. You're getting good at this, Jess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. That was awesome. Uh, no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. We're alive. I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding. Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. So, Yoder, how did you guys, like, not die when the helicopter crashed? Well, me and Oscar got out on our own before we hit, but Nima needed a little help. Isn't that right, Oscar? Well, I'm just glad you're all okay. But they're so strong. I mean, how did you... how much can you lift? I wouldn't know. Not really a gym kind of guy. You're not? Dude, you're huge! Well, just because I don't work out, doesn't mean I don't work. He just doesn't want to admit to his Sasquatch heritage. Who was it again? Granddad? Great-granddad. Maybe it was your mother. <laughs> okay, stopping now. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do.
everyone, we have a problem. What's wrong, Laura? You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Can we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? Hmm. <laughs> You outran a T-Rex, huh, Yoder? I sure did. You know, not everyone has the training to pull something like that off, let alone the raw speed. I know, right? That's what I thought when I outran her yesterday. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. We're fine. Hey, uh, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay. For now. That's great! So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Hallway's clear, but the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then a dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman. Uh, uh, physically. But emotional maturity uh, don't, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year, even? Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn. Uh, plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after-school special crap. That vamp. It may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. It's locked, all right. Thanks for double checking.
So, what are our options? No way we can break it down. Too secure. Got no guns, no explosives. You tell me. You aren't even listening to me! So, you're smoking now. What else are you doing I don't know about? What, Mom didn't tell you I was stripping? That's enough, Jess. It's only until my boyfriend's death metal band takes off, then we're gonna Missing get... something? What? No. Just wondering why they left the transport cages here. I bet. I'm not laughing. Someone who claims she's... Also, I'm pregnant. Enough! When Jerry, we get you home, please? I'm gonna be having a long talk with your mother about this. Come on, Dad. We both Jerry, know that'll please. be worse for you than I it is really for me. Need to speak I'm already grounded for life, so it doesn't matter if you rat me out for smoking. All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess! Well done, Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. Look at all those transformers. The plant produces enough power to run a small city. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. That looks like the power console. Up there, at the top of the ladder. Update that sign. Those blast doors are supposed to close when there's a risk of explosion. Why aren't they closed now then? I don't know. I'm just glad it's not my job to explain it to the board. All right. Looks like we press to open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open, that does make sense. It does now. We can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. We don't want to close the circuit without charging the capacitor first. Glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure, we open pickle jars too. Okay, on three. One, two, three! <laughs> Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean stop! 
It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. Looks just like a smokestack. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated. I got it! Perfect. Let's try it again. Invented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. Two. Three. The... It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No! No way! That's suicide! He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. Right ideas? Down that way. 
I've made jumps that wide before. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract him. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Hey, thanks. He makes it back. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Get up! Get up! Oh. 
there? That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you... okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just- just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts? We're replaceable? We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it! And he still died to save your ass! So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him! You don't deserve okay, to! Okay, okay! What can we do? Nothing! I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space! I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you? Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes, he does. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what?! Victim was being kept alive by Decaf. A... I'm sorry. The victim is Daniel Kafaro, another throwaway grunt. Oh my God! I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought. You knew about this? You knew? I'll kill you! 